might think that if your baby is not sleeping soundly, then something's wrong. But this isn't necessarily the case. Not all babies are the same, and all babies have their own routine. Although some babies will be sleeping right through the night from the start, if your little one isn't, that's fine too. You might also hear that formula-fed babies wake less often at night, take more naps and sleep for longer stretches than nursing babies. That's because formula takes more time and effort to digest. However, this won't be true for all babies, so be sure to feed your baby the way that works best for both of you. Parents often assume that cradle cap is caused by poor hygiene or an allergy, but this isn't true. Some experts say that cradle cap may be due to the production of too much oil in the oil glands and hair follicles, trapping dead skin cells. Remember that your baby is new to the world and the condition is a likely result of your baby's body adjusting to its new environment. It's not contagious and cannot be caught from another baby. When cradle cap falls off on its own, hair loss can occur when hair stuck in the cradle cap falls off. But don't worry, your baby's hair will soon grow back. Many new parents assume because their baby has colic, they're in some form of pain, but this isn't true. Mums and dads, they blame themselves and believe that colic is due to something they've done wrong, or that they don't know their baby well enough, or they're simply not up to the job of being a new parent. Nothing could be further from the truth. Colic is a condition that affects your baby and is not a reflection on you as a parent. It is a commonly held myth that teething can cause diarrhoea, but there is no scientific evidence for this. However, babies are more likely to put things in their mouth to try and ease the pain, and unfortunately, some of those things might not be very clean. So don't worry about your baby picking up toys and chewing and gnawing on them, but always make sure they're clean before giving them to your baby. Another myth is that your little one can get a fever when teething, but actually, there's no evidence to support this either. If they have a fever alongside other symptoms such as vomiting, cough or a rash, then it is unlikely to be due to teething and you should see your GP if you are concerned. Some parents say that sticky eyes are contagious, but this isn't necessarily true. However, sticky eyes can be misdiagnosed as conjunctivitis, which is contagious. So be sure to get a proper diagnosis of your little one before they meet others. There is some anecdotal suggestion that breast milk can be used to treat sticky or gunky eyes, and some parents find that this works well. However, breast milk does not treat conjunctivitis, and if your baby has this, there is no benefit to using breast milk in your baby's eyes. It's always worth checking symptoms of your baby to make sure they don't have conjunctivitis before trying this treatment. So be sure to visit your GP or health visitor who will be able to provide a more accurate diagnosis.